Hi Georgie Burns here. Today, today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. Well, believe it or not, this pretty card came with from a free um, stamp set. I don't know if I've told you before that my daughter, one of my daughter's friends, works in the distribution centre for all the craft magazines. And now and again she'll give my daughter a pile of magazines with stamps or dies attached to them and this was one well she could make a great big pile of them but I fancied this one and I thought I'd make a card and I thought I'd show you so with this card it's all fairies get rid of that fairies and trees and we're going to use this fairy I'm going to use this bit of grassy meadowy thing and the butterflies or wherever they are them creatures there and this sentiment all you need is faith and trust and a little bit of fairy dust I thought that was quite nice so but first we need to do the sponging on the background now on this card, I don't know if you can see, I've got a grotty little edge there. I used elegant eggplant. I've got none of that left now, I've used it all. So today I'm going to use basic black. So for this card you'll need an A4 card base, A4, half an A4, which is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. And burnished I'll do that in a minute a piece of black basic black cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths a piece of white cardstock at five and a half by three and three quarters and I'll, obviously I have my piece for the middle which I haven't got out which is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and I also have a piece of copy of paper where I've cut a rectangle out using the rectangle dies and I'm going to put that on there as my guide so to get started we need to use temporary tape to stick this on Some extras in the corner and stick this on. Right, so I've done that. Right, with the inks, I'm using. Highland Heather, Gorgeous Grape, I could state this, and I'm also going to use some Elegant Eggplant Ink. So first we'll start with the Highland Heather. Let's get some scrap. And a sponge. And then just sponge up to the corner and the opposite corner. That's all you've got to do. Just going to take it up a little bit. That should do nicely. Then I'm going to use gorgeous grape with the same sponge I 
and go over it again but not as high this time As you can see I'm dipping my sponge in the ink and then I'm putting it on my scrap paper to take the excess ink off because if you don't you end up with little marks like this. And then some mossy, uh, mossy meadow elegant eggplant for those who have still got their ink I'm going to open this up a bit more load this up and I want it really dark down here at the bottom Just going out just so that there's purple it's fading off right I think that will do dark enough. All right, I'm not going to take the paper off yet. I'm going to get my meadow scene and I'm going to stamp that in black. My Versafine, load up the stamp. And I'm going to stamp that right at the bottom. Right. I'm going to come in a bit more and go down a bit. Yeah, that'll do. That will do nicely. And then I'll take this off and hope we've got some nice straight lines, which we have. I think I'll bin that bit now. Let's stay this one. Right, for the next part I'm going to use my stamp positioner. I'm just going to pop it in there, put my magnets on and then I shall get my fairy. I'm going to pop her so she's a bit on the white and a bit on the, let's put her a bit higher. And also my two little, oh no, it's just one dragonfly, um, let's pop in there, don't need that, and then my sentiment, which I'm going to put up there. I can stamp all these together. 
that straight so I'm going to pick them up and with my black ink move them out of the way, move this over a bit ink them up and Lay that down right. The fairy and the flower. Oh, might as well do it all. Give it all another coating. And I think that will do. Get the worst off and I'll clean him up afterwards. Right then, look at me. To get the white dots on, here yeah, I put white dots on. I'm going to use my gel pen and I just put white dots all over the image obviously not on the fairy I'm trying not to touch the black because it does take a while to dry. I don't want it to smudge. I think that will do. Let's add in some more. Yeah, that will do. I'm not putting happy birthday on because I don't want this to be a birthday card. I want it to be a card I can use for anything. And now I'll we'll stick that on the black. I'll stick this on this card base. I can see it's still wet because it's shining. Right, on the inside, I've got another fairy, I think. Yeah. So, what I'll do is put that to one side, bring this back, and I'm going to put the other fairy, because there's two fairies, just there. So, I'll bring my stamp position back. Take 
this off. With my black ink, stamp it up. again because it's a bit blotchy I don't keep these free stamps I give them away on my um, card class I run on a Thursday night and there's a lady there who's just a beginner She can't afford all stamping up stamps, pensioner. And she's been making some lovely cards with these free stamps. So I just give them to her and I show her what to do with them. And she goes home and makes her own. Makes her happy. Right, I'm not going to put that in just yet. I'm going to wait for that to dry. We'll stick it in off camera and just going to add some gems. It'll be a card unless I add gems. Right. And the other one I added five, but this one I'm just going to add three. Just what? A bit random that no I don't like that so I'll put my two there two there because it's got to be odd numbers <laughs> put one back there yeah that'll do Well, I hope you like that. You can make nice cards with these free stamps. If you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon next to it, you'll be um, notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And all I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.